thank you for joining us today on Woodworking with Wes. Today's project is going to be a kitchen table bench just like this that we're going to be building out of alder wood. We're going to start with this pile of wood right here and begin to make the parts that we need to make in order to make our bench. Let's get started. All right, we start with our construction on the leg. Um, our bench leg is on a taper of 10 degrees. So we've cut the top and bottom of our leg piece at 10 degrees. And now we're gonna add the parts that allow us to make the stretcher slot and our little cope there on the corner. This is our stretcher piece, or our leg piece that we've started with, like I say, already cut on the 10 degree angle. So let's add the pieces that make our sides. I've already gotten started cutting them. These, all these little sticks right here. Okay, the first step to make our legs is to add our first thickness of uh, stock. Now, as we add this on here, you'll see that this makes a little slot here. This slot is for the space for our stretcher to go in. So let's put that on there, and we're going to do that by just gluing and nailing. We won't worry about the nail holes because this particular project has a dark stain. And as we putty and sand, the dark stain is going to cover any of our nail putty. And we don't need to worry about the nails. And that's the first part of our leg. And you see how the slots are ready for the stretchers. Our next part of our leg is the part with our little decorative cut. We made a pattern and we'll do those decorative cuts now. First thing we do, lay our pattern on there and mark where we cut, just like that. And we'll do that to all four pieces on both legs. We're going to cut out this little piece with a jigsaw and then sand to the line. And I'll get started doing that right now. Okay, we're going to use an edge sander on the end spindle in order to sand our round to the line. Now with our pieces done, we'll add those to the sides of our legs. Just like that, again, glue and nails. our leg just like that ready to go let's go ahead and put some putty on it let the putty dry while we move on to the next part when you're puttying putty all the cracks and all the nail holes even if it doesn't look like it needs it because when you sand you want to make sure that you're sanding fills everything, covers everything, and makes everything smooth. Okay, 
Okay, we're ready, ready to let that set off to the side and let for the putty dry while we move on to the next phase. The next phase that we'll be doing on our table or on, on our bench will be the side stretchers that go t from end to end. We've measured those, cut them to width, and they need to be 39 and a half inches on long point. So we'll take these over to the chop saw and we'll cut the angle. Again, because this is angled at 10%, this cut right here, or 10 degrees, this cut right here is gonna be a 10 degree cut. Okay, with our saw set at 10 degrees, we make one end cut. We make our 39 and a half degree measure. And we cut it again. There, just perfect. We'll set that piece right there and do the other one. Once you have both pieces cut, check them and make, them sh make sure they're exactly the same. We're good. Remember we had made our, our legs and puttied them, now it's time to sand. Just like everything else, we start with 80 and then move to 120. And there's our leg, sanded, ready for the next step. Our next step is this little half circle at the bottom that separates and gives us two legs. We'll show you how we do that now. To make our circle at the bottom, our half circle, we're going to use another high-tech jig, another can. We've got to center it. We're 10 and 1 8 inches wide, so that's 5 and 1 16. We'll mark that. give us a center line. Our can is four and one quarter, so our radius is two and one eighth. And that tells us where to place our half circle jig. And we'll do just like we did when we did the little circles up here. We'll cut it out with the jigsaw and finish it on the sander. Okay, the next step on our bench is to do the top. Our top is 11 inches by 48 inches. So the first thing we'll do is cut it to size. We'll go to the table saw for that. We'll take a little bit off each side. Okay, now with our pieces all cut and sanded, we're ready to assemble the base of our bench. We'll start by putting our stretchers on. And we'll glue and nail them to get them in place. Just a little bit of glue, just a spot. We're 
We're going to add some screws in here to help keep it solid and give it additional strength. So we'll pilot drill a hole on each side. And we'll put in a one and a quarter inch grabber. Same on the other side now. Starting to look like a bench. Okay, let's put the support pieces in. On each end of our bench, we have a support piece that goes between the two stretchers. Let's look at the other bench and show. Underneath each end, we have a support piece, and then we have a vertical support piece. In the center, we have a support piece, and on the other end, a support piece and a vertical piece. We're going to do that all now. And a support piece in the center. Our distance, 27 and 1 8. Our support piece, 5, leaves us 22 and 1 8. 11 and 1 16th is our measurement. Learn to do the math in your head in a hurry, it helps. And we'll go back and fill the nails. But these side pieces, I want a little extra support, so I'm going to put a screw on each end. Just one. Again, one and a quarter inch grabber. Okay, we'll turn the bench upside down, and now we're going to put in the little vertical support pieces that go here and add to the strength of our bench. We'll glue those in and then nail them and screw them. This little piece of wood here is a spacer block to help me find the center without measuring. So let's start with glue. Our spacer block. Let's put it in the center. We're just going to give it one nail, hold it in place before we screw. Our spacer block helps us to helps to show us where to put the screws up here on top too. There's the base of our bench, ready to putty and sand. So let's putty it up and let it dry. Okay, we've got our bench to the point where we need to do the final sand on it. So let's start sanding on it. And we have one more step after we do a little sanding and I'll show you how to do that. We're going to put a round over on the end panel, on the end leg. So let's do that.
while we're sanding, what we'll do is we'll turn it over and we'll sand all our inside and outside edges on the bottom part. Okay, final sand with our finished paper, and then we'll attach the top. Okay, now we'll attach the base onto the top of our uh, bench. Um, I've got some layout lines to help, help me center it. So we'll line it up with the layout lines and attach it with grabber screws. There we are. I'm gonna do one final sand on the top. All right, we're getting ready to stain our bench now. We're gonna stain it a dark walnut color, and we're gonna start with the bottom side, and do the underneath side so that we can get to it nice and easy, and then flip it over and do the top last. I'll be using a staining sponge. I like to use a staining sponge when I stain. It holds a little more stain, spreads evenly, and then I wipe it off with just actually a good quality paper towel is as good as a clean cotton cloth. So I just use a good paper towel, good quality paper towel, and wipe my stain. And I like to do that. I like to put my stain on and then wipe it. It really brings the grit out. <clears throat> Okay, we've got the bottom part of the bench stained, and now we're going to the top. And I want you to watch how I stain, because I try to stain in a circular motion. That drives the grain, uh, the stain down into the grain, and brings out the richness of the wood. All right, now we have it all stained. Looks beautiful. We're getting ready to put our lacquer finish on it. We'll wait for an hour for it to dry, and then we'll spray up two coats of lacquer finish on it. It'll be done. Okay, we're getting ready to spray the lacquer finish. I just use a cup gun like this, not real fancy, but it puts on a nice finish. We'll spray this now. Thank you for watching our YouTube video on how to build a bench for your dining table. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll look forward to seeing you next time on Woodworking with Wes.